Hi guys, it's Joe here from Belltown Vlogs, and in this video today, I'm going to be reacting to match day two of the Euristic League, played across Tuesday the 21st and Wednesday the 22nd of August. It was a very interesting match day as ever, with surprise results and expected results, some big results, some good results, and some disappointing results, certainly for me being a Belper fan, and we'll get into that later. Before we start, do drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And yeah, thank you very much for your support. And also, don't forget, go and check out my latest Bulbatown vlog on the Lincoln United away day. It is a good vlog. And yeah, I won't give I won't give what happens in it away. And yeah, go and check that out. You'll enjoy it. So without further ado, let's get into so the So the video. first match of the of the midweek was Frickley Athletic 2, Markski United 1. Two wins in a row for Frickley, who continue their good run to the season. While Markska put in a very good performance against what will be one of their toughest games of the season. Frickley took the lead through Gavin Allen penalty on the stroke of half time, but just before half time as well, Markska got got it level with Gott. Markska also had a man set off in the second half, meaning they were parking the bus. But the bus was finally barged out of the way through Jack Burton on 75 minutes to give Frickley Athletic a 2-1 win, with a very entertaining game which both sides can take positives from. Second game we're going to talk about was an absolute thriller between Belper's local rivals Gresley FC and Stockbridge Park Steels. Two Belper play ex Belper players got on the score sheet for Gresley. Eric Graves, our former captain, on eight minutes, and Kieran O'Connell on sixty six minutes. Either side of a of a beats and own goal to get Gresley's goal. Stockbridge's goals came from a brace from Ruthven and Berrett on fifty nine minutes, completing an absolute thriller for Gresley and Stocksbridge. Both teams. Obviously, they're going to be pleased with their goal-scoring form. Belper come up against Gresley in the next Evo Stick game. So they'll be hoping they won't be scoring as many goals as that. But maybe there'll be a chance for us to get in, get in behind them and score. So the next game was Morpeth Town 2, Brigus Town 1. Morpeth, very unlucky not to get anything from the game against Belper Town on Saturday. So they'll be very pleased to get their Evo Stick account up and running with the three points. Yeah. Henderson, who looks, who was very good against Belper, scored inside four minutes, and Walton doubled their lead on forty-four minutes. Briggers got one back through Martin on fifty-eight minutes, and that was it. the The Northumberland side came away with the three points. So yeah, good result for them. Morpeth are going to be a good side this year. Like I say, they play well at Belper. Should have got something from the game, and Briggers always going to be a tough away game. Morpeth on a Tuesday night, a lot of travelling, so they won't be too disappointed, but hopefully they can move on from it. So next we're going to talk about Osset United and their brilliant start to the season, claiming a big scout, Cleethorpe's Town, four goals to nil at home. They open the scoring with Corner, what a great name for a footballer, on four minutes. Priestley got his second of the second of the season so far on 54 minutes. Porrit, Porrilt got one on 56 minutes, and Yates sealed the deal on the 88th minute. Completing a routing for the new side formed this summer, they'll be they'll be very pleased with that, and they could be a force to be reckoned with this season. Big attendances as well, as two clubs merging together to one, which should in theory double the crowds. So they will be a force to be reckoned with this season. Cleethorpes well shared the points to Spalding on opening day. They're gonna have to have a look at themselves, but I do think in the Euro stick, when you get a couple of goals, you can run away with it, and it's not, storyline doesn't always do you justice. So yeah, they'll be hoping they can move on from it, but great results. Next one to talk about, a surprise result for me, Pickering 0, Pontefract 1. This game was 0-0 for a lot of the game, and it thought looked like it was going to fizzle out into a dull 0-0 draw, but then Spencer Clark on the 88th minute for Pontefract Collieries put the ball into the back of the net to send the York Club home with the three points. So the Pontefract have collected six points from six, starting a great start of the season for them, meaning my prediction of 18th for them might be a bit a bit pessimistic. On the other hand, my, pick, my pickering to finish third prediction is looking a bit dodgy after they lost two games on the run. But, you know, they still have time to turn it around, and they'll be hoping that they can do so Next, that. we're going to talk about, by far, the game of, game of the match day. Sheffield FC 3, Tadcaster Albion 4. Sheffield FC got their goals through Fairhurst and done with a brace in the second half. But Tadcaster came away with the three points. Savory opened the scoring on four minutes. 
Stewart got one of 78 minutes, and Lumsden got a brace inside six minutes with 79 and 85 minute goals. So yeah, Sheffield FC, their defence might be a problem for them. We've already let in seven goals, which is the joint most, along with Stocksbridge Park Steels, in terms of leaky defences. But going forward, at least they've managed to score goals, which they couldn't do in their first game of the season away away at Marks Key United. So I just couldn't, couldn't remember, because, yeah, I'm really good like that. I just can't remember things. So, yeah, that's the result for that so game. So let's go and talk about Spalding United 1, AFC Mansfield 1. Another good result for AFC Mansfield this after their opening day victory over Pickering Town. They'll be very pleased with that, and Wells opened the scoring for them just before our time. But then Zerner got his second goal of the season for Spalding to help them to their second 1-1 one -one draw of the season so far. So yeah, Spalding United, they've got a couple of draws, so they've not lost yet, unbeaten, but they haven't won either. So there's a good foundation for them to kick on, and they haven't leaked too many goals. So there are the good building blocks they have Spalding for them to kick on with. And Mansell, they were very pleased they picked up a good point on the road at a tricky away place in Spain. Next we're going to talk about Stamford AFC 1, Loughborough Dynamo 0. Putman got the goal on 30 minutes to see the Lincolnshire side over the line. Good 2-2 two and two for Stamford, showing that they can keep clean sheets, which is very good asset for them. As for Loughborough, that was a tough away game for them. I think no one was really expecting them to get anything from the game. So they won't be too disappointed. They'll have to they'll have to get back to winning ways there very soon because yet to win. They don't want to keep that going, otherwise they'll be playing catch up towards the back end of the season. Now moving into Wednesday night's games, we start with Carlton Town nil, Wisbeach Town one. Hart got the goal for Wisbeach inside two minutes, and then that was it for the rest of the game, as it fizzled out into a one 0 Wisbeach win. Carlton have actually surprised me so far. They won away at Tadcaster. They lost at the at what I predicted to be a fortress, Stoke Lane. So maybe my prediction could be wrong there, but obviously it is early days and things could change. Carlton, yep, yeah, their defence been pretty solid so far, but need to score goals in Wisbeach Town. They had a very tough opening game against Frickley Athletic, so they'll be pleased that they got a good win away from home, which really could kickstart their season. And they could be a force to be reckoned. So now, do we have to do this one? Do we? Yeah. Well, I've got to do this one then. Lincoln 5, Belper Town 2. I went to this game. It was very depressing. Lincoln, they went to in a lot. Belper did have the better of the early stages, but Lincoln scored a penalty for Grimes and and Cotton got one on 26. Belper actually got back into it with a Jacob Sturgis screamer. Just before half time, we all thought we were getting back into the game, but no, Lincoln hit us on the counter attack three times, including under the penalty from Grimes to make a 5 1. We got a consolation goal right at the end through Milner, but it was a very disappointing day. And to be fair, two penalties, our fifth goal was a bit of a goalkeeping mistake, so on another day, might have been better. Even their goalkeeper acknowledged that they were winning by far more than they should be, but then again, if you're Lincoln, You've took your chances, and fair play to you for that. We're playing Lincoln on Saturday in the FA Cup, so hopefully we can get our revenge on that. There will be a vlog for that. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Hopefully we can get our revenge, because Lincoln did look like they had the measure of us last night. And so yeah, that is it for match week, match week, match day, whatever you want to call it, two of the Eversdick MPL East. Some good results, and definitely some disappointing results if you're me. Comment down below, though, if you're a fan of any of the teams, what it means for you. Also, what do you think it means for Belper? Do you think we're going to be able to beat Lincoln on Saturday? Um, looking ahead to our local derby against Gresley, what do you think it means for that? So, yeah, it'll be interesting to hear what you think. So, yeah, as ever, like this video, subscribe, share, blah -de blah -de blah You know the drill. Also, if you know any fans of a, of a team in the MPLEs, let them know about this channel. Because they can get reaction to their team. And also, Belper, if you know any fans of them, let them know. So that will be great. Thank you very much for that. Don't forget to check out my vlog against Lincoln for the full match day experience. And yeah, my name is Joe from Belper Town Vlogs. And as ever, I'll talk to you in a while.